Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Everyone. Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang for another week of teaching, learning, and competition here on KCHEC. Throughout this season, maraming contestants ang dadaan sa pagsubok sa kanilang brain power until only one is left standing. Kaya naman samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil in the end, that new KCHEC champion will be revealed. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Russell is a student of UP Diliman studying BS Metallurgical Engineering. He likes to play and watch volleyball and his volleyball idol is Yuki Ishikawa. He also likes to watch films and series and loves to talk about anything related to metallurgy. Si Anthony naman, avid collector of Gundam and K-pop merch. He enjoys traveling, watching movies and listening to music with Sol at Luna as his favorite. He also loves gaming, mostly Genshin and League. Si Fertz naman ay estudyante ng UP Diliman studying geography. His hobbies are watching films, playing volleyball, and listening to music. And last but not least, we have Katokayo Gab, who is a mechanical engineering student from PUP. He enjoys cooking and watching anime. His favorite song is Close to You by The Carpenters. Bakit kaya? Bakit natin kaya? Mamaya. Siguro paborito ng mga magulang niya. Pwede. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Get ready to buzz in and go for the early lead. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Kaya naman, let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. Smaller than a pandemic, what do you call a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community? Yes, Russell. Epidemic. An epidemic is a widespread occurrence smaller than a pandemic of a uh, infectious disease like measles and yellow fever. The correct answer is epidemic K-check. Question number two in elementary math. What number is one-fourth of 64? Russell. 16. 16 is the correct answer. K-check. Question number three in history. Gregoria de Jesus is the wife of which revolutionary leader and hero? Russell. Andres Bonifacio. Andres Bonifacio is the correct answer. K-check. Medyo nagdoble isip ka, pero tama. Question number four. In what country is the prestigious Cannes Film Festival held every year? Birds. France. France is the correct answer. K-check. Medyo galit si Ferd sa pagsagot nun, ha? Question number five. In what capital city was the Central Ballet Troupe of China founded in 1959? Ferd. Beijing. Beijing is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six. What is the usual color of the one ball and the nine ball in pocket billiards? Gab. Black. Black is incorrect. Third. Orange. Orange is incorrect. Russell. Yellow. Sabi nga ni Efren Bata Reyes, the one ball and the nine ball are colored yellow. The correct answer is yellow. K check. Question number seven. What silvery white metal has the chemical symbol EU? Medyo natigilan ng ating mga contestants. The symbol EU is for the metal europium. Question number eight. Bella Swan is the main character in what 2005 book? Twilight. Alam na alam. The 2000, 
five book by Stephanie Mayer? The correct answer is Twilight Kaycheck. Question number nine. Which female singer played the role of the lioness Nala in the 2019 version of the film The Lion King where she sang Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Hindi nyo kilala si Beyonce. Question number 10. The Tang Dynasty was the age of great poets, sculptors, and painters in which Asian country? Birds. China. China is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Known as the longest rebellion in the Philippines, the Dagohoy uprising occurred from 1744 to 1828 in what province? Birds. Cebu. Cebu is incorrect. Malapit na sana sa Cebu, the correct answer is Bohol. Last question for this round, question number 12. At the Southeast Asian Games, how many pins are set at the start of a frame in a game of bowling? The correct answer is 10. And that's it for round 1. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabi, for that round. So let's do a scores recap. Russell is leading with 40 points, followed by Ferds with 30 points. Si Gab naman ay may 10 points. At si Anthony pwede pang humabol sa susunod na rounds. So, Attorney, so, syempre meron tayong favorite na segment dito sa show. Ito uh -huh. yung mas kinikilala natin, yung background ng mga contestants natin. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Yes! <laughs> may audience participation! Okay, simulan natin si Russell. So, Russell, sabi mo, mahilig ka makipag-usap about anything related to metallurgy. So, para sa amin na hindi metallurgy students, ano bang topics na yun? At may nakakausap ka pa ba? <laughs> Joke lang! <laughs> Joke lang! <laughs> uh, ang metallurgy po ay isang uh, branch of uh, engineering na very closely related sa mining po. Na kami po yung nagpaproseso ng mga nakukuha po nilang mga, ay hinuhukay po nila. At pinoprosesa namin hanggang sa maging metal na po talaga siya. So marami ka namang nakakausap? Madami naman. Sa iyong college? Apo, apo. <laughs> so ano siya, after mining? After mining. Okay. Okay. Gets. So Anthony, when I hear collector, ang isang naiisip ko ay gasto, syempre. So how do you con Control yourself from overspending on your hobby. Uh, I limit myself to, ano, to buying once a month or ano, during sales, yun lang ang bumibili. Ano nga ba yung paborito mong kinokolekta? Um, it's called Gundam. Toy, fig oh, yes, toy Gundam. figures. Gundam. Naku. Gundam wing. Gandang uh, ganda. <laughs> Sikat na anime din Pero yung ganda rin ang presyo niya ko minsan. So, Siyempre, tatlo yung anak kong lalaki, di ba? So, medyo alam ko yung presyo ng mga gandam-gandam na yan. Mahal yan. Pero hindi sila once a month, mga once a year. Once a year, <laughs> pag Pasko siguro, or birthday. Okay. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Russell and Anthony. Mamaya makakausap din natin si Ferds at si Gab. Pero siyempre, maghanda na tayo for round two. Dahil susunod na yan dito sa... K-Check! K-Check! Welcome back everyone, and as promised, nandito na naman tayo sa paborito nating segment, ang... Kay Chica! <laughs> Hanap ang audience participation first! Hanap sa Kay Chica, ganun din. <laughs> Oo nga. So, audience, be on your toes and pay attention. Ferds, curious lang kami, was geography your first course as a course in college? Bakit mo napili ito? Um, actually po, uh, shifty po ako to ge into geography. And then I'm starting to love geography every day po because geography is not only about maps and yung capitals but more on the interaction of the human and the physical environment. Mm, ano ba yung first course mo? Um, I'm from organizational communication po. Mm, ibang iba. From UP Manila po. UP Manila. Tsaka arts to sciences agad. Parang medyo na... na... Mm -hmm. na natigil ang aking <laughs> processing of information and layo. Pero whatever is the best for you, no? Yeah. 
Ayan. So good luck, uh, Ferds, dyan sa bago mong course. Ito naman si Gab. May very specific sa bio niya na sinabi niya na favorite song niya yung Close to You by The Carpenters. So ano bang dahilan mo dito, Gab? Bakit sa lahat ng song? Why do birds suddenly appear? <laughs> Buti alam ko. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> ka masyadong <laughs> sobrang ka. Okay, Gab. Bakit? Well, yung pinaka-reason po is um, kanta po siya sa favorite movie ko po which is So Close. Pinapanood ko pa po siya nung bata pa po ako. Yan. Which movie is this again? So Close po. So Close. So Close. Kasi tumatak talaga sa kanya eh. Mm -hmm. So ako din mamaya. Pag nandito ka na for round two, yes, search, search ko ang so close. so close. So maraming salamat sa ating mga contestants. And now, like I just mentioned, it's now time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure to strategize. Dahil po sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. What common term refers to atmospheric haze like fog combined with smoke or other air pollutants? Russell, smog. Smog is correct. Key check. Question number two. In statistics, what do you call the middle value in a data set arranged in numerical order? Fritz. Median. Median is correct. Key check. Question number three. In digital imaging, a pixel is the smallest unit in a digital display. The term pixel is short for which two words? The correct answer is picture and element. Kaya pixel. Okay? Question number four. What breed of dog that has spots in the object of desire of Rosel? Dalmatian. Let me proceed. Of desire of Cruella de Vil, your answer is Dalmatian. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What feminine name has come to mean an obnoxious, entitled, and often racist middle-aged white woman who uses her... Gab. Karen. Let me proceed. White woman who uses her privilege to get her way or police other people's behaviors. You said Karen. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What do you call a wooden frame, usually with legs, that holds a picture, especially one that an artist is painting? Russell? Canvas. Canvas is wrong. Anyone can steal? Correct answer is easel. Question number seven. Which comedian rose to fame with starring roles in the films The Mask, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, and Liar Liar. The correct answer is Jim Carrey. Question number eight. Which male singer collaborated with Taylor Swift in the single Everything Has Changed? And Russell. Ed Sheeran. Let me proceed. And with Camila, Camila Cabello in Bam Bam, you said Ed Sheeran. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In astronomy, what do you call a planet that freely floats between stars or one that orbits a star outside our solar system? Russell. Exoplanet. Exoplanet is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. Which green amphibian created in 1955 is the host of The Muppet Show and has a recurring role on Sesame Street? Russell. Frog. Frog is incomplete. That's wrong. Anyone can steal? Correct answer is Kermit the Frog. Question number 11. Mary Shelley is one of the greatest female writers of all time. What is the name of her scientist character who created a famous human-like creature from reanimated body parts? Correct answer is Frankenstein. Last question for this round, number 12. What capital city is known as the gift of the Nile? The correct answer is Cairo. And that ends round number 2. 
Maraming salamat for that second round. And after that round, let's have a points recap. Russell is in the lead with 100 points, followed by Ferds with 50, Gab with 30, and Anthony with a little bit of catching up to do. Yan naman, up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa... K-Check! Okay, let's do a points recap. Russell is leading with 100 points, followed by Ferds with 50 points, Gab with 30 points, at si Anthony pwede pang humabol. Dahil nangunguna man si Russell, may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Of course, alam nyo naman dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So contestants, for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and the answer, but not the letter only. At sa round din na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol, pero napakalaki ng chance para humabol kasi 360 possible points dito sa ultimate pagalingan round. Yes, kaya naman good luck sa inyong lahat. And let's, let's begin! begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Papi, listen then. Which mineral is most abundant in the human body? A. Iron B. Calcium C. Sodium D. Magnesium or E. Potassium? Mm, mukhang hindi biology ang inyong linya. The answer is calcium, although lahat ay nasa katawan natin. Calcium is the most abundant, making up 1.5 to 2% of our weight. Thank you. Next question from Prof. Lu. Okay, psychology and history. What term did James Braid introduce in the 1840s for a psychological state that previously was thought to be induced by animal magnetism? The choices are A. Hypnosis B. Amnesia C. Nostalgia D. Catatonia or E. Trance In the late 18th century, it was believed that hypnotism made use of an occult force. For example, animal magnetism. By the mid-19th century, English physician James Braid studied the phenomenon and coined the terms hypnotism and hypnosis after the Greek god of sleep, hypnos. The correct answer is A, hypnosis. Next question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Um, from 1993 to 2000, ABS-CBN's mascot was a mythological bird that is a popular subject in Maranao art. What is this bird called? A. Ibong Adarna A. Ibong Adarna A. Ibong Adarna Okay, let me continue. Yes. B. Phoenix C. Okir D. Sarimanok E. Burak A. Ibong Adarna is mali. Sarimanok. Um, the Sarimanok is correct. Um, hence, the Sarimanok Network. Yeah. Okay, check. Okay, naman, second set of questions. First question from Prof. Marian. Leather is a quality material used for bag, shoes, furniture, at maraming pang iba. Quality leather comes from animals, which is why animal activists are against its use. But most leather comes from animals raised for food, and leather is just a byproduct. Which of the following animals is hunted and killed mainly for its leather? A. Cow B. Sheep C. Pig D. Alligator or E. Goat D. Alligator Okay, according to Leather Naturally, an industry association, almost 100% of lead comes from cattle, sheep, goats, and pigs. The rest, yung mga snakes, crocodiles, they're hunted or bred for leather. 
So D is the correct answer, alligator. Okay, check. Thank you. Next is Prof. Lu. Okay, salamat. Philippine government tayo. Who is the only Filipino to have served both as Senate President and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court? The choices are A. Marcelo Fernan B. Arturo Tolentino C. Manuel Quezon D. Jovito Salonga E. Hilario Davide Jr. He was the 18th Chief Justice of the Supreme Court from 1988 to 91 and the 16th Senate President in 1998 to 99. The correct answer is A. Marcelo Fernan. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Sophie. The Academy Award for Best Animated Feature category was instituted in 2002. Before this, only one animated film has ever been nominated for Best Picture. What was this animated film? A. Shrek B. Beauty and the Beast C. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs D. Toy Story E. Spirited Away E. Spirited Away Mali po. The correct answer is Beauty and the Beast in 1991. Um, in 2009, Up was nominated for both categories Best Film and Best Animated Feature, and it won for Best Animated Feature. Thank you. So that ends our first half. Uh, Attorney, let's do a scores recap. Well, at this point, akala ko nga nung una eh, mawawala ang pole position ni, ni Russell. But he's still in the lead with 85 points, followed closely by Gab with 75 points. Actually, nag-lead na siya no, until that last question. But now he has 75 points, followed by Ferds with 50, and Anthony with some catching up to do. Yes, we still have 180 points left. Yes. Okay, so kaya pang humabol. Kaya Simulan na natin. Pa. Yes, third set of questions, Prof. Marian. Ito, alam niyo ito. We all need Wi-Fi and our need for it is now more pressing with blended learning and also the extreme heat index, right? What does Wi-Fi stand for? A. Wireless Fidelity Internet. A. Wireless Fidelity. Mali. Let me continue. B. Wireless Frequency Interface C. Wireless Feature Internet D. Wireless Network or E. None of the above e. Russell None of the above Okay The common misconception is that the term Wi-Fi is short for Wireless Fidelity However, Wi-Fi is just a trademark So, na invento lang siya nung um, Wi-Fi Alliance which is an alliance of those who provide it and the correct answer actually is E, none of the above K, okay, check So, it doesn't stand for anything, Prof. Marian? Because it sounds like an lang daw, high fidelity so ginawa siyang parang Wi-Fi fidelity but actually it stands for nothing so i think 99.99% .99 of the population just the learned comment. something yes. new today <laughs> thank you prof marian next question prof lu okay asian history naman which asian region declared its independence in 1911 after the fall of the qing dynasty but was occupied and annexed by communist china in 1950 the choices are a tibet B. Manchuria C. Mongolia D. Taiwan E. Macau Third. A. Tibet An autonomous region of the PRC, China has replaced the use of the term Tibet with Xi Zhang as its official Chinese name on diplomatic documents. The correct answer is A. Tibet Check. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. 
Um, the Visayan folk song, Pobreng Alindahaw, is about a poor dragonfly who is tossed to and fro by the wind. What does Alindahaw actually mean? A. Leaf B. Rain C. Flower D. Frog E. Cloud The word for dragonfly, the Visayan word for dragonfly, is actually alindanao. Oh. And so, um, the idea of pobre alindao, no, telling the story of a poor dragonfly, was actually a because of a typo that continued. A, typ a typ typographical error that continued. So the correct answer is B, rain. Pobre alindao actually means poor rain. Yung mga typo pala na oh, oh. nagiging norm na lang. So we learn something new every day, except that something that we need to know now is that Ferds is in second place with 80 points. So Russell is in the lead with 115 points. Ferds is now in second place with 80. Gab with 75. And Anthony with negative 15. Yes, so 90 points left for this last set of questions. Prof. Marian. Sa favorite subject ng lahat, mathematics. Okay, which of the following lines is perpendicular to the line y equal to x plus 2? A, y is equal to x. B, y equals negative x. Russell. B, y equals to negative x. Okay, C, e uh, y equals x plus 1. D, y equals 2x plus 1. Or E, y equals negative 2x plus 1. So, yung mga nag-math dyan, we know that if two lines are perpendicular to each, uh, to each other, the product will be always negative 1. So, one slope is the negative reciprocal of the other slope if written in the form y equals mx plus b. So, slope ng given ay 1. So, the correct answer is b, y equals negative X. Okay, check. Ang haba ng explanation ni Prof. Marian, pero I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Marian. Next, Prof. Lu. Okay, economic history. What event marked the beginning of the 1929 Great Depression in the United States? A. The failure of the three big banks. B. The worldwide oil embargo. C. The stock market crash D. The housing mortgage crisis Or E. The investment bust recession On October 24, 1929, also known as Black Thursday, the stock market began to collapse as panic investors sold a record 13 million stocks sh shares of stock. This event shattered confidence in the American economy, thus leading to the 1929 Great Depression. The correct answer is C, the stock market crash. Thank you. Now, off to our last question, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Um, in K-pop, what does Aegyo mean? A. Working hard B. Cuteness Aray, galit B. Na galit. Cuteness Let me continue C. Teamwork D. Choreography E. Gan Gangnam Style Your answer was cuteness Yes, you are correct <laughs> Aegyo means cuteness Okay, check and that's it for our k -Tech Ultimate Pagalingan round. Congratulations to Russell, our k -Tech Daily winner with a final score of 145 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. So maraming salamat din for kay Anthony, Ferds, and Gab for joining us. And of course, maraming salamat din sa mga members ng ating panel of experts, Prof. Marian, Prof. Lu, and Prof. Sophia. So this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -Check.